Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Comica Boom XD Pro D2s. Again, Comica did send it out, but uh, no money to switch hands or anything like that. They wanted my honest opinion and honest feedback and wanted to, me to let you guys know about this product because they said that you guys might be interested in it. I have worked with Comica in the past. I did their Adcaster C2 from a user point of view. I'll leave that review down in the description. And something that I purchased my own money was the Comica VM30, which is overhead wireless uh, shotgun microphone or whatever that's really good that I normally use for these types of videos now um, but I'll leave that review down in the description as well this is going to be a the white variant there is a black variant out there but this is going to be a 24-bit uh, audio wireless lavalier system before you go I know there's people out there who be like if it's not 32-bit I don't want it but this actually has a safety track that you can record in. And what that's going to do is be able to save the audio just like you can with 32-bit float. But again, it's still gonna be 24-bit float. But what it does, that means if you set the gain on the actual devices to like 12 dB, it's gonna record a safety track that's negative 6 dB. So whatever audio level you set it up as far as dB, it's still always gonna be negative six of that loud dB. So that means if something loud happens or you you audio peaked for whatever reason you'll still have that backup audio um, in that safety track and all you have to do is plug this up to the pc grab the audio file because it's going to be recorded in mono and then just you know mirror that audio wherever so it plays out of both the left and right so it'll save you the headache of having to go back and re-record that audio uh, maybe for whatever reason you can't get that client back or you know that person back or you know maybe that moment is gone or wherever and you can never re-recreate it um, you can always do that. So what it's going to do is continuously record uh, for two hours. After that two hour mark, it will go ahead and create a new file and continue to record by itself. Uh, what this is going to allow you to do is to record up enough files or whatever for a 24 hour period because it has eight gigabytes of, uh, I would say, storage capacity on the actual transmitters itself. Um, so that is good. Uh, the only cons or wherever of the actual device itself, in my personal opinion, is that these screens are finger mint uh, print magnets. There are it's it's going to be the way it is um, other than that when you click the buttons or wherever on the actual transmitter itself if you're using the top of the microphone or wherever to record your audio anytime you click any of the buttons especially that mute and unmute that's going to be transmitted through the microphone uh, depending on the actual uh, i would say db that you're adding to it or wherever so that's something you might want to keep in mind when you're recording and stuff like that so you might want to just keep on using the lavalier system. Um, the other thing is, is that lavalier systems, if you rough, ruffle your clothes and you're not wearing the appropriate apparel to, you know, record with lavalier systems and stuff like that, you're going to have to deal with that rustling and stuff as well in your audio. So again, it might be smart to have that safety track uh, just in case, um, I would say turned on or wherever. But again, the clamps on the back are really, really good. The wind muffs are really good. I think obviously the audio sounds really, really good. Um, here you go. This is the audio with, you know, no EQ or anything like that. I've been having a fan going on in the background on level four. It's about an arm's length away from me. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up to level eight. This is what it sounds like, obviously, with the lavalier system. And again, this is what it sounds like with level eight with the EQ turned on for the actual system. So we're gonna go ahead and bring it back down to level four. I'm gonna go ahead and test this transmitter. So again, this is the way it, it sounds with the EQ. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the EQ so you can hear the audio. This is what it sounds like with the fan on level four. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up to level eight. This is what it sounds like with level eight uh, from the actual fan. And we're gonna turn it back down to level four. And then we're gonna turn back on the EQ. And I'm gonna go ahead and talk about, I would say, obviously the wireless lavalier system you can have it like this you can have obviously the lav lavalier microphone the lavalier system in the microphone is really really nice and we'll get to that in a second so on top of the actual lavalier system is going to be uh, the plug in and what you see this little nick nick right here or wherever is when you plug in the actual 
wireless lavalier system or the microwave that comes with it, uh, it's a little hook in there. So what happens is when you plug it in and you try to pull it wherever, it won't pull apart, which is really, really nice because um, you have to pinch it or wherever and pull it off wherever to pull out the microphone. So you don't have to worry about like it snagging or something like that and all of a sudden it coming unplugged or wherever and you're sitting down there recording and you're talking wherever for God knows how long. And then you go to review the footage with your client and stuff like that and you realize, hey, the microphone came unplugged. So it's really, really nice. Um, it sits in there really, really snug. It's not gonna just, like I said, easily be pinched and pulled out or wherever. You have to actually put some force behind it in order to get the actual mechanism to unclip and um, put it in and where it's fairly easy. Again, you can hook it up to your, com your computer and stuff like that. Again, I talked about the point, uh, the pain points of actually clicking the microphone, uh, the buttons or wherever on the actual sides of the transmitters and that getting transmitted into it if you're not using, if you're using the built-in microphone and not the wireless lavalier uh, microphone that or the Pell mic that comes with it. Another thing is, is that you can see it's darkened right now. So if I click the record button, it's not gonna record. It's gonna wake up. So anytime that you want to record, mute the transmitter, do something wherever, hitting any of these buttons, you're going to have to click it twice because if it's not bright up like this, because it's going to dim to save battery, um, just keep that in mind that always press it twice just to make sure or at least look at it to see if it's dimmed or not or wherever. I understand why it's going to dim wherever or hibernate, whatever you want to call it to save the battery life. Um, but it's just kind of annoying that if I wanted to mute this and just going like muting to test the microphones and stuff like that, it's going to be kind of, um, I would say in a hurry, if you're muting a mic for some reason, maybe somebody came over to talk to your guests or something like that off screen and you know, they need to mute that conversation or whatever, for whatever reason. Um, and they press the button once and they think it's muted and it's not muted. Uh, that can be a problem. You know what I'm saying? It could be a problem or issue. We just want to make you guys aware of it. Other than that, I think this wireless lavalier system is really, really good. Again, it's 24 bit float. It's not something that's going to hinder, I would say, content creators who are like me, who are doing stuff like this anyways, because in my personal opinion, I'm recording straight to my PC right now through my camera with the wireless lavalier system and all that stuff, wherever hooked up to the camera and all that audio is being uh, delivered over HDMI recording straight into OBS. Uh, I'm not internally recording into the actual, I would say, you know, SD card or wherever. So I can easily automatically see this stuff back or wherever, but I would imagine um, having the safety track and sitting down and doing, I would say traditional video sitting down, you know, recording, like I said, into the SD card and stuff, having that capability to record on the device, even though you have to sync up and post. And on top of that, having that safety track, um, just in case it's a very important video for whatever reason, having those insurances and stuff like that is really, really nice. Again, it's only 24 bit float. Um, I don't really see why, you know, people outside of the professional realm of doing things are going to really need that. And on top of that, for this price point, this is going to skip, like I said, a couple of rungs on a ladder for content creators who are looking to get, I would say, uh, a really good sounding audio quality lavalier system. Like I said, having that safety track, everything, in my personal opinion, it's only really missing the 32 bit float. And I would give it the, you know, more of that premium quality stuff. I would just obviously, use the lapel microphone in my personal opinion because i feel like the microphone that's just built in or wherever is a little bit too um sensitive as far as touching the buttons and stuff like that and picking up the noise or wherever um from like the fan and everything like that and it's just just the microphone itself but that might be something that you're that you want or wherever to have that more presence um, rather than having the lavalier microphone or wherever, it's up to you what you want to do. But having the capability, having it all in the kit, having everything that you need uh, to ready to go and stuff like that. And again, for uh, I would say decently priced microphone uh, wireless lavalier system, especially having you know two, and then all the other stuff that Comica offers. Like I said. Uh, different types of versions and stuff on their i would say amazon page i will leave that linked in the description as well as this linked in the description both of them will be affiliate links it just helps out the channel but you can check out the other stuff that they have like i said i've done the comica vm30 i love that microphone or wherever been using it for you know for a few videos now and i i just i'm in love with it and then you know doing the adcaster c2 and now the boom xd i can honestly say that um Again, Comica is killing it with the content creation stuff that people need. Um, again, it's a little bit pricey, 
but it's going to be stuff that's going to, like I said, you're not going to need to immediately upgrade or like two, four months down the line, maybe a year down the line or something like that. You're going to start looking to upgrade. These are things that are going to last you like two, three years, maybe four or wherever, unless something happens to it that's, you know, outside the realm of possibilities of actually like being visibly, I would say feasibly happening or wherever all the time. Um, you might upgrade or wherever, or maybe you realize, hey, I'm stepping up my um, professional game or, you know, started doing client work, or whatever it may be, and you need some feature sets of some other things out there, then you're going to upgrade. Um, and so again, these are going to last you. You pick something up like this or wherever it's going to be better. Um, I have another wireless lavalier system. I'll leave that review down in the description as well. And um, for that price point, I think I paid roughly close to what I, uh, this would cost. And um, it doesn't have the safety track. It doesn't have, you know, any of these other features or wherever I would say that this is going to have. And obviously I would recommend this over that. The only other thing that most people probably want to know, the carrying case is does not, you know, wirelessly charge or charge the actual um, devices itself. That's why it says uh, Boom XD Pro. I wouldn't really call it Pro. I would just call it the Boom XD D2s or D1s or wherever um, because the reason why it would be pro is if it had the charging case capability from the case itself and on top of that having that 32-bit float or wherever with that safety track this just has the feature sets of something similar to pro but it's just in my opinion not at that level yet but it's still the wireless lavalier system that i would highly recommend again if you're interested in it you can check it out in the link in the description Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If anybody's wondering why I didn't do a distance test in this review and go outside and test it and only did a studio testing, there is a, a winter storm going through the United States right now for this whole entire week and it is freezing outside. And it's, I'm talking about like negative degree weather, rain and, and sleet and snow and just uh, uh, negative wind chill on top of the negative. I'm not going out there, um, especially me being susceptible to uh, getting sick more often um, than I would say the normal person. And then on top of that, I have a baby at home that's almost one years old and he has his own complications and I'm not trying to get sick and then pass that on to him and all the germs that I, I ain't doing it. So uh, with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully that's understandable to you guys and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Again, Kamaka, this is three for three, man. You're killing it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces, everybody. God bless you and yours.